Hello everyone, this is Crystal Putoff, and uh, today what I'm going to talk about is uh, this ostrich egg. So this was an ostrich egg that I wanted to do a deep etch on it. And, and I hope you can see it here on the video. I, I did get I did get an etch, a deep etch on it. And if it's close, like it is on this camera, you can really see the beautiful etch and you can see the design, you know, and it looks cool. It was my first time to do a really deep etch on um, an ostrich egg. Well, actually anything. Now, now I take that back. I've done them on emu eggs. But this was the first time I did a really deep etch on something that was um, had no color with it. For the, the emu egg, you have the dark color of the shell and then the lighter colors underneath it. So, but when it's when it's a little further away, like say here, it gets much harder to see the etch. What I learned was that if you're going to do a deep etch, you have to have more of these areas where it's very thick lines and big areas where it, it etches down. Because when I have this lovely scroll work in detail, at, at more than like five feet away, you just cannot appreciate it. So what I am doing is I have decided I really love this pattern I put on here. I loved what it looked like. I just don't like that it's white on white. You just can't see the detail on it. So I've decided, I redid a turkey egg that I didn't like the way that worked out, so I thought I'm going to redo this ostrich egg. So I have been re-waxing the egg, and it's a little difficult because of the, the etch. Um, this, what you're looking here, is an hour's worth of work. Okay, this is going to take a while to do, but it's going to be so worth it because I know it's going to be gorgeous when it is done. So I'm going to um, keep working on this. I can't even tell you how many hours I spent doing the original one, and I'm sure it's probably going to take me twice as long to rewax it because um, it, it it's just... Uh, taking a while to to make sure I'm getting it in the the crevices um, kind of going along the border so you'll see a little bit more of the the white against the background I think I'm probably going to go with a blue to give kind of a, a Wedgwood China look anyway um, stay tuned this is going to be a project that will take a little while. But I have some fun things I'm going to show in the meantime while I'm working on it. And uh, so stay tuned. Progress on the ostrich egg and more to come on some other fun projects I have been working on. Thanks for watching.